NBA coaching legend Phil Jackson says league is too political to watch. And you got to know Phil Jackson. Phil Jackson was a hippy-dippy leftist um, back in the day. For him to come out and say this, you know this is um, big, big news. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram and my merch store where I have I Will Not Comply t-shirts as well. So check those out. All right, let's talk about this news. Former NBA coach and player Phil Jackson says the league has gotten so political that he doesn't watch it anymore. And I'm the same way as well. I refuse to sit through that that political bull crap. People watch sports to get away from these type of things, but they're pushing their agenda through sports because they know they have people eyes and, 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 um, and it turned a lot of people off, even Phil Jackson, but appearing on the, uh, Tetragrammaton with Rick Rubin podcast, Jackson said since 2020, the league began catering to a quote, certain audience in an attempt to bring them in. But in the process, began alienating many longtime NBA fans. The former Chicago Bulls and Los Angeles Lakers coach called for professional basketball to be non-political, criticizing the NBA for social justice slogans that have been displayed on the court and jerseys. I mean, and a lot of people have been speaking out against this. This is exactly why I, it turned me off from the NBA. I used to be one of the biggest LeBron James fan, and then when LeBron James got into the whole political deal it really it just turned me off to it but quote i am not enjoying the game jackson says that's too bad there's a whole generation that doesn't like the game jackson who's 77 says the politicalization of the nba became too much as the league reaction to social unrest that followed the death of george floyd while in police custody during this time which coincided with the pandemic and peak of government mandated lockdowns the league transitioned into a bubble where players, coaches, media, and other staff all traveled to Orlando in an attempt to protect themselves from COVID while being able to continue their season. Quote, all the teams that could qualify went down there and stayed down there, no audience, and they had things on their back like justice and a funny thing happened, Jackson said. Quote, they made a funny thing like justice just went to the basket and equal opportunity just knocked him down my grandkids thought that it was pretty funny to play up those names i couldn't watch that during the during that time the nba embraced social justice buzzwords and slogans plastering messages like black lives matter and justice on the court jerseys and even team buses according to the daily mail few players kept their last names on their jerseys instead opting for justice uh, the NBA also allowed players to kneel during the national anthem. It's disgusting. But, quote, it was ve- it was trying to cater to an audience or trying to bring a certain audience to the game, and they didn't know it was turning other people off, Jackson said. People want to see sports as non-political. Politics stays out of the game. It doesn't need to be there. I mean, and the majority of the people believe that. So you, you're turning off your core audience just to appease a, 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 a small percentage of the people that's really, like, will watch it because of this. I don't know anyone to say, hey, I'm going to watch an NBA game because I love their Black, Ma- Black Lives Matter slogan. I've never heard anyone say that. But Jackson is an 11-time NBA champion um, champion coach, winning six titles as head coach with the Bulls in the 90s and five with the Lakers in the 2000s. He played 12 seasons in the league and won two NBA championships in the 1970s with the New York Knicks. Now, according to a 2021 YouGov Yahoo News poll, Jackson is not alone um, in his view that social justice advocacy intermingled with sports is difficult to watch. The poll found that nearly 50% of sports fans in the country changed their viewing habits because of political messaging. 11% of viewers said they watch more sports because of it. About 34.5% said they watch less. So you do the math. <laughs> it, it, it's not worth it. But yet they continue to push this um, this uh, stupid political agenda. But um, let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And check out democrepublics.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.